Sarah Margaret Fuller was born to Timothy Fuller and Margaret Crane Fuller in Cambridgeport, Massachusetts. By the time she turned three, her father began teaching her to read and write. Her father gave her an education similar to what boys received during that time. She attended several schools and became well-versed in German, Italian, and Latin. In 1819, she was enrolled in the Port School in Cambridgeport and later she went on to attend the Boston Lyceum for Young Ladies. She also attended the School for Young Ladies in Groton. One of the first feminists to emerge in the United States of America, Margaret Fuller was a highly influential and sought-after women's rights activist of the 19th century. One of the first women to be allowed to use the Harvard College Library, Fuller was widely respected and recognized as the best-read person in New England. Margaret Fuller initially worked as a teacher before she went on to become the editor of The Dial, a transcendentalist journal. She also became one of the first female editor and female foreign correspondents of the esteemed American newspaper, the New York Tribune. As a foreign correspondent, she produced a total of over 37 reports in a span of four years for the New York Tribune. Perhaps one of the most recognized and famous personalities of her generation, Fuller was known for her quick temper, outspoken nature, quick-wittedness and adventurous nature. She was a major leading figure in the transcendentalist movement and a celebrated writer, literary critic, book reviewer, and a hearty social critic. Her seminal publication, Woman in the Nineteenth Century, is regarded as one of the first works on feminism in the U.S.